Hi everyone and welcome to our informational webinar teaching in the USA with Educational Partners International. We are Educational Partners International but we often call ourselves EPI for short so I will be calling us that throughout this presentation today. My name is Jessica and I work as a content coordinator for EPI. I am from the mountains of North Carolina and before working with EPI I taught English at the community college level and I'm really excited to be working for a company that combines my passion for education with my passion for cultural exchange. Today I will we'll be talking about what EPI does and how you can apply we also want you to take this opportunity to ask any questions that you have regarding EPI and our process. You can ask us questions in the comment box and we will answer them at the end of the presentation. Please keep in mind that we won't be able to answer questions about your specific application for privacy reasons. All of those questions should be emailed to us directly at team at teachwithepi.com where one of our trained admission specialists will be able to contact you with your concern. So today's webinar is a general introduction to EPI. By the end of this presentation, we hope you will understand our mission and know the benefits of EPI both in program and after you leave the United States. So the first question that most people have is, what is EPI? And you can answer this question in a lot of ways. But first and foremost, EPI is a cultural exchange program that brings international teachers into the U.S. to teach. Officially, EPI is designated as a sponsor for an exchange visitor program. We have become a world leader in cultural exchange, helping hundreds of teachers from around the world to come to the U.S. to teach. Teachers in our program are currently in North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and Florida. And while we work with schools across the southern United States, our home office is based in North Carolina, which is about where the marker is on the map on your screen. We would love to know where all of our viewers are from too, so please take the time and tell us in the comments where you are watching from. So in order to understand the importance of U.S. cultural exchange, you may need to know more about the history of cultural exchange in the United States. Much of the cultural exchange movement in the U.S. was started by Senator J. William Fulbright. He was passionate about strengthening U.S. international relations and saw cultural exchange as a good way to accomplish this. You are probably familiar with his name because he created the Fulbright Program, which is a famous international education scholarship. After creating the Fulbright Program, he developed and passed the Fulbright Hayes Act of 1961. The purpose of this act was to increase mutual understanding between the people of the United States and the people of other countries. The Fulbright Hayes Act led to the creation of cultural exchange programs like EPI across the U.S. So Educational Partners International is an exchange visitor program authorized to sponsor teachers for K-12 placement in public, private, and charter schools in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Florida. We place teachers in all subjects taught in K-12 schools, so that means not only foreign languages and English as a second language, but also math, science, art, special education, and elementary education. So EPI offers cultural exchange opportunities specifically for teachers from other countries to come to the United States.
I'm sorry, it looks like my audio cut out for a second there. Um, cultural exchange means that our teachers come to the United States to share their culture and then return to their home country so that they can share what they have learned about the U.S. You will be able to do that through two cultural exchange program projects that you will complete every year that you are an EPI teacher. The EPI program lasts for three years. After you have finished the program, you will return to your home country for two years. And those two years where you go back home are important because that is where you are really going to complete our cultural exchange mission. Of course, we want to help you come to the U.S. to share your culture, but we are also interested in you returning home and sharing your experience in the United States with other people in your home country. So we are so interested in this because EPI believes sharing knowledge across cultures and venues improves understanding among teachers, students, administrators, and the members of the communities in which we live. This is the whole reason why we do this program. Your ability to bring your culture to the United States and then take United States culture back home with you is really what true cultural exchange is about. Exchanging knowledge and information between cultures so that we can understand each other as a better as a global community. So what does this kind of cultural exchange look like? Being an EPI teacher means that you will live and teach in the United States, fully immersed in U.S. culture while sharing your culture with your students here. Today we have a couple of examples of other projects that our teachers have created in order to share their culture with their U.S. communities. One of our teachers from Panama made a presentation for her students about traditional crafts in her country. She then gave her students the opportunity to really experience these crafts by making their own versions out of paper. One of our teachers from Ecuador gave her students traditional Ecuadorian food and taught them a dance from her home country after telling them some about what life was like back home. So this is an activity another one of our teachers from the Philippines did with his art class. He taught the class about the Mascara Festival and its history. He then had his students make their own traditional festival masks for themselves. We also have a video of some of our Spanish immersion teachers describing one of their cultural exchange projects and the effects that it had on their communities in the U.S. So here is their experience with cultural exchange. We always meet with the immersion teachers and we were like, you know, what, what can we do that is fun, that people can get excited about, they can come, and we can just share a little bit of our, our culture. So something that like we all had in common was really music and dancing, and just we're very happy people, because our students in immersion are exposed to our cultures daily, but we thought that that could include the whole community. We wanna be, bring the music, because music is our style, music is our way, music is our, it's in our veins. We can show what music represents for us, the importance that the rhythm has for us, and how you can communicate culturally also by music. I think the value of a cultural exchange program is for people just to be ambassadors of their country because not everybody's as lucky to travel places or to know places by a person just coming here or vice versa you have a little window of the culture of everything. So as you can see, we provide many opportunities for you to share your culture with your school here in the United States. And there are many different ways that you can do this. You will have the ability to find what you are really passionate about and share that with your students here in the United States. So now that you have more of a background on who we are and what we do, it's time to talk about what benefits you get from participating in our program. 
So the most obvious benefit is that you will get to encounter new cultural experiences, experience life in the U.S., and share your culture with people who would not normally experience it. Your students here may not know very much at all about life in your home country, and you will get to share things with them they may have never known otherwise. By doing this, you will have the opportunity to make a positive impact for students all over the world. Also, one of the most important things that we offer you is personal and professional support for you during your time in the United States. We think teacher support is a major part of this whole process and one of the most important things that we do. We are invested in your success, so we are available as a resource for you even after you arrive in the U.S. So let's talk more in depth about the type of support that we offer our teachers. EPI's support program is an area of pride for us as a cultural exchange program. As soon as you are placed in one of our partnered schools, one of our dedicated and trained support team members will contact you to help guide you in the process of moving to the United States. The relationship between you and the support team is an important one and will continue throughout your time as an EPI teacher. Should you need help of any kind while you are in the U.S., the EPI support team is here for you. We understand that American students need the international perspective that teachers like you bring, and we are dedicated in doing all that we can to help you deliver it. So EPI is the type of program that not only provides benefits while you are here, but also when you return to your home country. The experiences and professional development that you will have while in the U.S. is something that you will carry with you your whole life. Once you are done with our program, you will be able to go home with a new perspective that will enrich your personal and professional life. Also, participating in this program means that you are now a world educator. You are a teacher who has taught students from multiple countries all over the world. Experiences like these are truly life-changing, and you will not be the same kind of teacher or person that you were before you came here, which we consider to be one of the major benefits of participating in our program. So before we finish talking about the benefits that EPI has to offer, here is what some of our teachers have to say about their time in the United States. Edward, a Mandarin teacher from China, had a great time in the U.S. and is very passionate about other teachers experiencing the same sort of journey that he did. Lynn, a science teacher from Australia, felt very supported and about uh, very supported by EPI through her growth in the program. We also have another video of Lynn sharing her story. After this brief video, we will be answering your questions that you've left in the comments in a live question and answer session. So this is what Ludmilla says about her experience with EPI. Hi, good morning. I am Ludmilla de Bajo. My friends and colleagues call me Mimi. I am from Bulacan in the Philippines, um, but I used to teach in a Catholic um, high school in, in back home. And I've been with EPI for two years now. I joined them in 2015. Um, I'm a single mom, so I brought my 11-year-old daughter with me here. She's in fifth grade right now. Um, basically, I joined EPI because um, I've always had passion for cultural exchange. I was in a similar cultural exchange program in Australia uh, four years ago, and I realized that you know it's fun to learn about other people's culture. And apart from that, um, my best friends, they recruited me because they have, you know, they have been a good experience here in the United States, and perhaps they want me, they want to share that with me here. At first, I was very hesitant because, you know, I am 
quite loyal to the school where I came from and used to be an administrator there. So it's kind of difficult to leave the school, but then, you know, my friends, you know, they are very uh, determined to let me come with them here in the States. So fortunately, you know, when I got into the program, it was really a good experience. Um, I've learned so much a lot and I, I am from South Carolina. I teach in Lexington 3, Batesburg Leesville High School. It's in the Midlands. And um, it's a family-friendly community, and I can still remember the first year that I got there. The community was very supportive. It's not only the school, but also some of the churches. They come together to help me put out my house. They put together furniture. Um, and I remember when I moved in, our district superintendent was even there to put up the bed that she, he gave my daughter. So the feel of Southern hospitality is really there, and I got to feel what Southern hospitality really is and it's uh, I don't feel that I'm different from from my colleagues because it's it the school where I'm teaching right now it has a familial culture basically it's the same as the culture of the school where I came from so I must say I'm very grateful for EPI because they it was a perfect match To hear more from our teachers, you can visit our Facebook page. We have posted several videos of our teachers talking about their cultural exchange experiences. We also post teacher stories on our website, teachwithepi.com. So now it's time for questions. I'll be answering any comments that you have left below. So if you've not submitted your questions yet, please ask them now. Also, we encourage you to tell us about yourself. We would love to know where you are from and what you are currently teaching. It looks like we've already heard from teachers from Jamaica, Phil the Philippines, Ethiopia, Argentina, India, Peru, and more today, a very diverse group. And just wherever you're joining us from, thank you so much for being here today. Okay, so it looks our, our first question is, is there an application or a placement fee? So no, there is no application or placement fee. There are some documents which may cost money as you go through the application process. For example, if you have to renew your passport, you might have to pay whatever agency renews the passport in your country. If you need to get your diploma or transcript for from your university, you may have to pay money for those as well. But EPI will never charge you an application or a placement fee. Our next question is, which states do you place teachers? So currently, we place teachers in North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and Florida. Next question is, do I need a driver's license? So no, you do not need a driver's license to participate in our program. Um, one thing that I will ask you to keep in mind is that EPI is not going to place you in an area where you're not going to be able to get around, which means that if you don't have a driver's license, we will need to place you in an urban area with, um, with a strong public transportation system, which will limit some of the places that you will be able to teach in the United States. But you do not need a driver's license to participate in our program. Our next question is, how long does the application process take? So this varies from applicant to applicant. Um, the application process includes processing all of your documents and two interviews with EPI team members. So the application process, the time it takes really depends on how quickly you can upload all of your documents correctly and get those EPI team um, interviews scheduled. All right, our next question is, how can I apply? I'll be going over this in depth in just a minute, but the basic steps is you're gonna go to teachwithepi.com. You're gonna scroll down until you see the orange button that says click here to apply, and then you'll click that button to start your application. Okay, so it looks like we have time for one last question today, and it is, is there an age limit? We get this question a lot. The answer is there is no age limit. 
We do have other requirements such as that you are teaching full time and that you have two years full time teaching experience. But as long as you meet all of those basic requirements, you are eligible to apply regardless of your age. Okay, so that's our last question for today. If you did not get to ask your question, please go ahead and leave it in the comments. We will answer all remaining questions in the comments after the broadcast. So now that you know more about us, the question is, is EPI right for you? Here we have listed some of the basic requirements for our program. EPI teachers must have a bachelor's degree. They must have at least two years full-time teaching experience. They must be currently teaching and they must have advanced English skills. So if that sounds like it applies to you, you can start your application at teachwithepi.com. As you can see in the video, the first step is to go to our website, teachwithepi.com slash teachers. Once you are there, you will scroll down until you see the orange button that says click here to apply. Then you will answer some questions about your eligibility and click the submit button. After you answer the questions, you will be able to make an account with your email address and start your application. If you have already started your application, and you have questions, be sure to email us at team at teachwithepi.com with those questions. So in closing today, I would like to share this quote from J. William Fulbright that I feel illustrates the importance of a cultural exchange education. We must try to expand the boundaries of human wisdom, empathy, and perception, and there is no way of doing that except through education. Much like Fulbright talks about here, at EPI we hope to expand the understanding of U.S. students by giving them the opportunity to learn from teachers like you. So that's all for today, everyone. If you are interested in viewing our previous videos or signing up for upcoming webinars, you can go to teachwithepi.com slash webinars and sign up for our mailing list. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook to hear more about our upcoming events and also to hear from our current teachers. If you have any more questions, be sure to email us at team at teachwithepi.com. On behalf of everyone at EPI, thanks for joining us and have a great day.